Jason Hollis Farms. I was just a second late this morning, really a few minutes, but I didn't jump nothing on the way in there. But before I got set up, that one, it looked, let's see, what was that, seven point, the other one was maybe an eight point. All on top of me, so they finally eased off, so I'm fixing to get ready. Get a window open so we can see. So the deer moved pretty good right there at daylight this morning. I was just about, I really was a minute late. And then it got so foggy, I couldn't see 40 yards. So I decided to get down and slip out. I've been piddling around doing a few things. And now I'm fixing to uh, do a few more things. I don't know, today might not be too exciting. I don't know, we'll just have to see what happens. Somebody else loaded up, come along with us, me and PJ today. We loaded up mud bud. I'll give y'all a little story on him for y'all that don't know mud bud here in just a little bit. Come on, bud. Let me get a little weight on you. Come on. Come on. So I got pretty fired up, as y'all know, when I was smoke found the big massive heavy horn deer for us and it got me to thinking again I've got I went back I got paperwork on I don't have paper papers on all my dogs but I got notes and paperwork on all of them after I start breeding my original ones I had papers and I just never fooled with the papers but uh anyway mud bud I started him on pigs and then uh I fooled with him a tracking a little bit when he was younger. He amazed me one day. Um, about the only deer I've ever got in the snow. The uh, I got a video of that too. But anyway, I had uh, got the deer early. He ran off, and I sat, and it snowed. It went on three or four hours, and then I put mud butt on him. Anyway, went straight to him. But anyway, I went back and looked. And I want to... If these, I'm gonna play with these and PJ and Bobo, but all my stuff's done got old since I quit uh, quit uh, hog hunting. But these, uh, as far as my black mouse I've raised, Mud Bud, Cody named all my dogs forever. Mud Bud, he's off Paw Patrol. But anyway, Mud Bud is uh, six years old and Rose is five. Those are my two youngest ones. I played with Rose some on the track and she did okay but mud bud if one will ever work he'll be uh he could beat something if i would have worked with him all along he would have been tough but in the meantime i'm gonna tinker with him the rest of the season made a spot in the titan for him uh, since he know he's been up a while but since he was started on something he might have a chance and in the meantime I'm going to smoke is one dog that's still got some of my bloodline in it. And then I'm fixing to call my buddy down south that always hunted with me, hog hunted and raised some dogs. He had tequila and he's got a couple more. I think he's got two or three off this same line or same exact cross as Mud, Bud and Rose. Mud, Bud and Rose are full brother and sister. I say full brother from a, they're a year apart same cross so i am not going to breed them that tight i have before but i'm not going to them and uh come here my butt <whistles> he's a sharp dog he's got a lot of sense uh but anyway i'm gonna get in touch with my buddy down south and see what he's got left i went ahead and put a collar on mud because he used to just, he's gone now down the road he's he's gonna roll but uh them them that cross there was some of the best go hunting dogs i ever had it was hard to get that in a cur dog and that's why i put a collar on him i have to watch him he uh he coming back now but um 
I'm gonna get me a puppy because I love at all. I like my little dogs. Now, don't get me wrong, PJ and Bobo. Of course, Bobo's Cody's. I've just been carrying him some, but Cody plays with him about every day. But these black my even the Jag Terriers like Dodge. Dodge getting some age on him now. But these black mice are, have just always been my favorite. And I need to get a, that's why I spread some of my bloodline out. I do, I just remembered, I know where another female is that's Rose's sister. And she was doing, she was gotten just for tracking and there's one more. There's, let's see, there's one, two, three, there's four people. One guy's got several of them. If, if they're still alive from hog hunting. And last time I talked to him, he said they were some of the best they ever had. And he's had some super dogs. Uh, he's got, he should still have three or four. I got some semen on Rebel at uh, Mississippi State. Uh, like one breeding left. And then I got two, let's see, smoke. One, two. And then I got two more guys that's got them for blood tracking. So there's four people that's, Three people's got one dog, and my buddy down south should have three or four. So then I got a couple of these left. But I'd love to have a little puppies off Rose. We're going to keep an eye on her and uh, may breed her to smoke. Or I'm talking to my buddy down south. He's been, he's been watching these things since I started with Rebel, and he's still got a few. So we'll, uh, we'll see. I'm fixing. I got to stay. Uh oh, I ain't doing too good on my video. And I got to stay after this because it's just too many times we might need one. All right, so here's what I'm doing now. I got one of our drop traps over here, and the service is just really off and on. And comes in, goes out, comes in, goes out. Late yesterday evening, I missed them by about 15 minutes because I wasn't watching it. Didn't have my notifications on. I think there was three or four hogs under the trap. And then later at night, the service just went away. So I got me an extra T-post an extension to the cable. I'm going to see how high I can get the uh, antenna to see if it'll help. And uh, freshen it up a little bit. Let's see if we can't catch these biggies. Alright, got fresh corn in it. Here's what I did. I took me another T-post. Had my extension coax. Gorilla taped it to the other one. Got the antenna way up there now, another six foot or so, so it's showing that I got two good bars of strength. Put a fresh battery in it, so uh, we'll just watch it and see. Maybe it'll work this time better. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Bible verse, still on the word judgment, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And in as much as it is appointed for men to die once, and after this comes judgment. All right, y'all, not a bad day today. Had a little short, quick, foggy hunt this morning. Saw, what, a couple little bucks? I hope I got the footage. Boy, I've been fighting some losing footage stuff change the SD cards. I don't know. It was just tough happens sometimes. But anyway, fool with Mud Bud a little while. Let him run around and we're going to try him on a deer before long. And uh, oh yeah, got the hog trap going. That thing's still working right now. I got a picture of some hog. Got another feeder not too far from there. I got to make my mind up since they're already coming to that trap last night they'll eventually come back through i don't know if it's a different group or what we may have to go in there and take some at the feeder and kind of keep them spooked and moved around and get what we can i don't know we're gonna fool with them though though i like fooling them piggies and i need some more sausage too I need to give me some little snack sticks made out of them I hadn't done that but yeah not just a ton going on today we got a little bit done appreciate y'all watching out of here